Good morning, happy Sunday. Taking breakfast for everybody. My grandson always loves pancakes, so I always use a box pancake mix, but then I throw in a splash of vanilla. I make this every year. And this always makes it so much, I think it makes it better. And we're also having these little sausage links. I haven't had these in a long, long time. We had bacon yesterday, so I thought I would switch it up. I wanted to answer a couple more questions because they're very random and I, I really like them. I don't travel with Rob when he works because he does, he has a lot of meetings during the day and then a lot of dinners during the evening. So I would basically be by myself. I don't mind traveling by myself, but I would want to go to the thrift stores. I wouldn't have a rental car and then I would buy things that I couldn't bring back or I would want to buy things. So. I just stay home and work. And when he's not here, I get a lot of stuff done because, you know, I, I'm a workaholic when he's not here. I work, work, work. So, no, I don't. Now, if he ever goes overseas, absolutely. I'm not sure what this means by family tree, but I'll give you some very interesting facts about my mom and dad. I don't know if I've ever shared this before. So my dad comes from a family that actually lived 10 minutes from where my mother grew up. My dad had his older sibling, the first sibling in his family, passed away either when he was newborn or he was stillborn. Then my dad and his twin brother came along. My dad's name is Michael David. His twin's name was David Michael. And he passed either when he was a newborn or stillborn. I'm not sure. And then he had a sister and two brothers. My dad went into the military and when he was in the military, if I'm not mistaken, my grandmother went to my mother's hair salon to get her hair cut. My grandmother told my mom that she had a son and then that's how they met. My mom has a twin and their mother, my maternal grandmother, had my mom and her aunt and my aunt at the age of 36, that was back in 1942. That was before all the technology with twins and premature twins was around. And my mom, I think she only weighed three pounds. I think my aunt did too. And they they stayed in a hot box. That's what they called them, I guess, a hot box to keep them warm. They didn't have all the stuff that they do for twins today. So, and my grandmother almost died because she got a horrible infection from the c-section that they did my oldest son is the first boy in three generations because when my maternal grandmother had kids and her sibling had siblings had kids they were all girls and then my mom and her sister had girls and then i came along and had a boy and then it was kind of like that on my dad's side too because my dad's siblings all had girls and so it's it was been it was a long time before we had boys and i broke i broke the the streak we rob and i together not together but blended have five and it goes girl boy girl boy boy and when they all have birthdays this year they're literally stair steps because they were born in 96, 97, 98, 99, and 2000. I personally have two biological boys. The oldest one is Sydney and he has the baby. And then my youngest one is overseas right now serving in the Marines. And then our oldest daughter, Rob's daughter is here today at this weekend. She has the two grand kiddos, the ones that were sitting by me on the porch swing and our his daughter is in california and the youngest one is in charlotte <laughs> look at these <laughs> get from this angle look at that oh <laughs> <laughs> he's posing pose those toes Make yard work easier by using Heart Tools battery operated yard equipment. There's no need to drag around extension cords or search for outlets.
shared this lighter the other day. It is one of my favorite rechargeable lighters. And I got a question how you charge this up. It comes with a cord like this, and this fits in to the little end. There's a port right there. And you put it in there, and then you put this into a block on the wall. And once it's charged, then you can turn it on here. And you slide this up, and that's what it looks like.